Welcome back to another GeekWatt video. In today's video, I'm taking you over the best $300 AMD based gaming PC build for the month of August and September 2015. This build is easily capable of the latest AAA titles at 1080p whilst achieving between 30 and 60 frames per second, along with um, your favourite titles maxed out at above 60 FPS, such as CSGO, World of Warcraft, League of Legends, and Minecraft. So, without any further ado, let's get straight to it. For the CPU, I've gone for the AMD Athlon X4 860K. This CPU is a great CPU. It's a quad-core CPU. It does run slightly hot, um, but it is okay on the stock cooler as long as you don't overclock it too much. It does come uh, out of the box at 3.7 GHz and um, is compatible with all the latest AAA titles with it having, with it having four cores. Its single-threaded performance is slightly worse, so it will perform worse than something like the Pentium G3258 uh, in games such as CSGO and some of the slightly older titles, but for the, for the newer titles, it will, it will, will run much better. So for that, that's the CPU. Now for the motherboard, I've gone for the Gigabyte GA F2A 68HM-HD2, bit of a mouthful. It's a Micro ATX motherboard with USB 3 uh, as well as an FM2 plus socket. Uh, it is Micro ATX, but the case we've gone for is ATX, which will give you a bit more room to play around with, especially if you're a first-time builder. This, uh, this motherboard is super stable, super good, and it will allow you to do a bit of overclocking as well with the CPU. For the RAM, I've gone for uh, one 4GB DIMM of Kingston HyperX Fury Blue. Uh, you can get this in white, black or red if you do desire, however. This is clocked to 1866 MHz, uh, a little bit higher than the typical 1600 MHz clock speed um, of, of, of your, sort of your typical most common DDR3, which will mean you get a bit of a performance increase uh, for around the same price. If you wanted uh, another eight, another 4 gig to total 8GB uh, and take advantage of dual channel memory, then that will cost you another $17 later on down the line, or you can perform that upgrade uh, that, that Great straight away and that's that's super easy to do uh, for storage i went for a, a hard drive it is slightly slower than an ssd but especially in a budget build uh, a hard drive is the best option to go with the Seagate barracuda is one of the cheapest one terabyte drives out at the moment seven seven to two hundred rpm which is sort of the fastest you get uh, consumer hard drives that you can get three and a half inch form factor will store all your movies music games etc Su super good hard drive super great value for the video card or the video solution I should say I went for a discrete GPU a dedicated GPU I went for a GTX 750 uh, from from Zotac now this is an AMD based gaming PC build but I do find that this GPU from Nvidia will outweigh some of uh, AMD's options at this price point and will give you the best performance it does only have a gigabyte of onboard VRAM uh, but for, for the gaming that's going to be done on this machine that is, that is enough uh, you can get cards with two gigabytes but for this sort of power there's no point in getting a two gigabyte 750 card unless you wanted to step up to the 750 Ti. For the case, I've gone for a case with an inbuilt power supply. This is the Di Diablo Tech Diamond. It's an ATX mid tower case, which means it is bigger than the motherboard we've gone for, just to give you a bit more wiggle room as I previously mentioned. It has got a 400 watt power supply, and uh, people do complain about the inbuilt power supplies as they can be uh, a, li a little bit worse than if you were to buy a dedicated PSU, uh, a sort of separate PSU, should I say. Uh, but this GPU does require no extra power, so it should put no significant strain on the power supply, so it should be okay. Uh, it hasn't got any front panel USB 3, but it has got a uh, USB 3 on the back of the motherboard. And that pretty much wraps up the build. If you have found this video helpful, do remember to like, comment, rate, and please do subscribe because it helps the channel loads. And we'll see you in the next GeekerWatt video. The video you've just been watching is all part of GeekerWatt's Big Summer. Check the links in the description below for 50 videos over 42 days and 6 weeks. The idea is to get loads of tech related content up from tech terminology, tech reviews, tech news, PC builds. Uh, tech topics along with a load of Windows 10 content and my budget build guide 2015 and how to build a, ba a gaming PC 2015 tutorials. We'll see you in the next GeekWatt video and I'll see you over on Twitter with hashtag GeekWatt Big Summer.